بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على من بعث رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We will all go through hardships in our life Some people they get more difficult hardships Others they find it a bit easier The Prophet ﷺ said أشد الناس بلاء الأنبياء فالأمثل فالأمثل That the people who are tested the most are the prophets and then most the ones that are most like them then the ones that are most like them so when we are tested with hardships and trials and tribulation then we need to really think about you know this hadith that people who are tested the most are, are like the prophets um, and there are generally two reasons why a person might go through a test or a trial the first reason is as a punishment or expiation for sins that a person has committed in this life. So for example, if a person's committed sins in this life, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might test that person or put him through a difficulty or a punishment or a, some kind of trial or tribulation in this world. Um, and that is like it acts as expiation for that person's sins so that he doesn't get punished for that sin in the hereafter. So that's the first reason. Another reason why a person goes through hardship is as a test so allah tells us in the quran alladhi khalaqa al-mawta wal hayata liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala that allah is the one who created death and life to test which of us or to test which of you is best in conduct so this whole life is a test from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so those who go through hardships they need to think about you know, they need to think about this, that I've been created for this. This world is full of trouble and strife and, and, and you know, all sorts of different hardship. Now, the question is, how will we respond to this hardship? It is not paradise. We're not in paradise yet. This world is full of tests and hardship. So when we go through these tests, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to see us being patient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us being grateful to Him. And I want you to think about four attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all-knowing. He knows that you are going through these hardships, these tests. The second is that Allah is all-merciful. He's the most merciful. He is more merciful to us than our own selves, than our own parents. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts us through these tests, you have to know that Allah is doing this out of His mercy. In fact, when a person, he uh, goes through this test, he will often find that when he's going through this test, it's hard. But once he comes out the other side, there is a great wisdom. Something is something uh, that he achieves that he wouldn't have achieved had he not gone through that test. And this brings us to the third quality, which is the third attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the attribute of being all wise everything that Allah puts you through is out of his wisdom and fourthly Allah is all capable he could change your situation if he wanted to so when you're going through a hardship think about these four qualities that Allah is the most merciful that he's more merciful to you than your own selves he knows what you're going through he is the most wise and he's able to change it but he didn't change that situation out of his wisdom mercy and knowledge so very often people go through trials and tribulation and they feel like it's so difficult. They hate every moment of that trial. But then a year later, they realize that subhanallah, because of that trial, I've got so much more good. So for example, a person goes through divorce or he goes through a hardship of, you know, debt, for example. Or, you know, somebody, uh, you know, passes away in that person's family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from all these trials. Or maybe he has a business dispute. All of us, we will go through certain trials. And while we're going through those trials, we find it extremely difficult. We hate it. But the question is, will we be patient? Will we be pleased with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If we are, then understand that usually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has something far better for you later on. If you're going through a divorce, understand that Allah will give you someone 
better later on. If you're going through a difficulty with your job, Allah will give you something better later on. And later on, you will think back to that time, that hardship, and you'll say, SubhanAllah, it was worth going through that hardship because of what I have today. I have something far better. So when you're going through a difficulty, think about this ayah that I'm going to mention. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا That whoever fears Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him a way out. He gives him a way out. So what is the solution to when we go through trials and tribulation? The first and foremost thing that we need to do is turn back to Allah. Turn back to Allah in asking forgiveness. Turn back to Allah in repenting, right? Make dua to Allah. I promise you, when a person turns back to Allah, his situation will eventually be easier, as long as he displays patience and he doesn't give patience and he doesn't give up in Allah's mercy and he has tawakkul, he has trust in Allah subhanahu wa taala. So have trust. How many times have you gone through a trial or a tribulation, and you didn't like it at the time, but then eventually? When you came out the other end, it turned out better for you. And you are happy that you went through that trial because of the good that you now have. So have trust in Allah, make dua to Allah, seek forgiveness in Allah and know with certainty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never neglect you as long as you turn back to Him in repentance and in ibadah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته